In today's video, you are going to see one of your most favorite toenails for excess cleaning. The progress of his big toenail reattaching has been amazing. He will still need to regularly clean the excess buildup from his toenails. As you can see, his body is pretty consistent in creating lots of protection for his toes. And I'm still cleaning out the buildup till the end of the pedicure. So stay tuned. <laughs> if you're new here, welcome! Please subscribe and click the bell to turn on your notifications to know when I upload my weekly video and be notified if your comment got the most likes and will be featured in an upcoming video. Yeah, I don't know if I want to wish for snow so people can at least go outside and do outdoor activities during the winter. Right. Because we're all going to be limited for so long now. That's crazy. Oh my god, this, this is. We live in the weird times. I hope you've watched his first visit and his second visit before watching this third visit. The links will be down in the description. If you're on your mobile phone, you have to click the little black drop down arrow to see all of that description and links and stuff that you can click. And then um, I've been also putting a comment, the very first comment, with some links if you still can't find a few things and I'm going to start um, some playlists of some series so you can search in YouTube for meticulous manicurist playlists and you'll find them there too. Yeah, I knew it was time for me to come see you again because um when my feet start hurting when I'm on certain shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this time. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that done. So the socks start curling up at the end. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Take your shoes off now. That one, I'm get it. Yep. People want their big toenail cut really short. You have to be careful not to cut the hyponychium, which is the skin that attaches the toenail to the nail bed. So here I was just feeling for where that attachment point oh, was. Yeah. So when I trim go. off a little bit more, I make sure not to um, get into that space. It can make people's very toes very sore. Yeah, isn't that fun when you're like, oh, you you watch the channel too? Mm -hmm. You find. You know, and me and her husband are real close. That's awesome. We were out Christmas shopping and. I was like feeling weird. I'm like, Pe I don't know why that guy's looking at me so weird. And Bruce is like, he probably recognizes you. I'm like, oh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and then he leaned over and whispered something to his wife. And then his wife turned and looked and she started shaking her head, yes. And I was like, yeah, I think, I think they recognize me. His body produces a lot of excess cuticle that grows up onto his all nail right, plate. It it's really important to remove all of this from the surface of the toenail or the moisture that gets into the toenail won't be able to evaporate. And when that <clears throat> bacteria from this perspiration creep up there, stays it? in the toenail, that's when you can get extra problems.
Work's going well. Yeah, work's going pretty good. I went to another um, one of those exposure classes yesterday. I did, I did, better, did better than I did the first time. So <clears throat> that's all I want to do. each time to show growth. That's good. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been back to this in a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the excess part of the cuticle that adheres to the nail plate. I'm gonna use my little mini electric file bit. Get all that nice and clean around there. You know, when we first launched your video, I think there were some comments on there talking about, well, I heard that once your toenail detaches from the nail bed that it'll never be able to reattach. And I said, no, no. if." If there's no damage to the nail bed, it can reattach and hopefully we get some good results. Well, now they'll be able to see that it is 100% possible for your toenail to reattach to your nail bed. I'm going to insert a photo in here when I start his next oh, foot so you can excess. see where he started and where he's at today. I don't think I've mentioned this in a long time. When you're trimming someone's excess cuticle, you trim under that live skin. You use the nippers to push back that skin and trim off the material that's underneath that fold. That skin that's on the top is supposed to be there. Heavy metal. Yes. <laughs> Bring out the equipment. What? You take a lot of vacations. <laughs> I need to take a lot of vacations? <laughs> oh, but you take a lot of vacations. Uh, I'm not mad at you. I tried to come in here in December. It was like, yep, yeah, can't do this week. You're going to be on vacation. I'm like, you take a vacation Well, it wasn't really a vacation. We had to. Bruce's dad's getting dementia. Oh. And okay. he's in Florida. And he just got a pacemaker put in. And he wanted to come home, okay. and he can't drive himself, so we drove to Florida. Yeah, and then when we got there, we got him to get in to see a doctor in the VA, mm -hmm. and um, they said that they would take the shrapnel out of his shoulder from Vietnam. It's been in there for a long time. He's 81 years old now. So he decided that he would stay to get the shrapnel taken out. So then my parents are two hours away over in Sebring, Florida. So we drove over to see them for a couple of days and then we drove 19 hours home. <laughs> Yeah, that, that drive from Florida to, um, well, Mission of Florida is no joke. No, it is not. I did, I did it twice uh, for football. Like, uh, yeah, two years in a row. Yeah, long drive. 
and Bruce drove the whole way. He would not let anybody else drive. He's like, I'm good. I'm like, are you sure? Mm -hmm. I'm not a long distance driver like that. Like, I'm good before I go like we go to Chicago. I really go for the first two hours so it's like, okay, I'll be you. Yes, I get highway hypnotized. I'm like, okay, take over. And then as soon as they, they take over, I go to sit down. I go to sleep. Then you can't sleep. I can't sleep. I'm no. Official, okay. so, I'm not that guy. I'm not the driver. I, I, I know this. Yeah. I can drive in the city, drive around. I think the ones that really bother me, the one on my left foot. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's because I'm not used to it. 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 I'm not used to Maybe you carry more of your weight on that side of your body. Girl. I can say exactly how it happened. Yeah, it happened <laughs> years ago.
my bony knee. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking your brains out. <laughs> All right, I can go back in the water. Now, do you guys remember where his toenails started? That was completely detached. And I'll show the before and after the first visit in the before and after photos here in this video too. I don't think it'll be too long until you stop having this problem because this stuff that's gonna be all gone pretty soon because I just clipped off most of it. Tiny bit more right there in the center but yeah it's looking really great. Is it tender when I put the edge of the nipper under it? Okay. When I cut the nail back so far at his initial pedicure, there was See nothing holding down that slow. nail bed. And as he walked, uh, their little callus formed on the tip of his toe because there was no toenail protecting the tip of his toe. So we have to remove this skin so the toenail can grow up further and it won't run into it and by his next pedicure the tip of the toenail should be covering that area
go on to, yep. When you see the before and after pictures at the end of the video, pay close attention. The very first visit he had, this toenail was like a tent. It was had even a point I'm gonna on it. That one cause I'm gonna shorten it more. And we have to keep thinning it out as it grows because it's rubbing on the top of his shoe. And when it hits the top of the shoe, it creates more damage and it's just a vicious cycle. So until all of the damage is gone and the toenail's growing normally, we need to keep it thinned out. I'm interested to know how many people watching this third follow-up visit did think that his toenail would never attach and that you are just amazed that it has. So tell me in the comments if you're excited that his toenail reattached. I think we might need to turn it back on need because yeah. it's moving your toes. Yeah, so yeah. Press the need button, it's on the yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you, so handsome. Was it? Yeah. Were you nervous?
Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. I'd be super nervous. I threw up before, like, regional final track meet races. <laughs> You can see a better example of what I was talking about when I said that you need to trim the cuticle that's underneath that skin. You'll see me push back the skin with my nippers and then trim that little lip of excess skin that's underneath the living tissue. You don't want to trim the living tissue. Anything that's turned white is not living. You can put this foot back in the water. So he pulled out, you know, his SIM card and I let him put it in that phone.
How are the wedding plans going? It's getting there. It's getting there. I got to find the um, we're going to do it inside or outside at this point because uh, this COVID ain't getting no better. That's, that's the man, one of the main dilemmas. Yep. It's going to be in May. Yeah. You might be all right doing it outside. Let's go with the weather looks like. Yep. Might be a tiny bit chilly, but I mean, it should be good. Have to wear flip flops in your tuxedo, though. Show off these good looking toes. <laughs> right at the Yes. Got curves in all the right places. <laughs> We need two sets of arms to massage this leg all the way up there.
Set and start. Take failure.
see if we can turn that heel out to the side. There you go. That's good. Are you getting excited to see the before and after photos? I know I am. I wonder who's still watching till the end. I hope you're still watching. Tell me if you're still watching in the comments. Um, I don't know. We're trying to coordinate like how we can even upload a few series, maybe start uploading twice a week. Um, yeah, I just have, I've filmed so many. I have like 80 videos that are just waiting to launch. I don't think so. No. Just wanted to get all that dust out of there. Shape it. We don't need any raggedy edges catching on your socks.
for everybody screaming now. That's funny. Everybody screaming about that uh, Morrison my movement. So, about everybody, what? Everybody going in about, about the um, Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to visit my channel. People like you are the reason for my success and I appreciate it so much. But remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Remember it is free and I'll see you next time.